Five years after graduating with a diploma in computer network maintenance, Georges Bamou still navigates the streets of Kinshasa as a motorcycle taxi rider, unable to find a job or raise funds to start his own business. I said to myself, as soon as I graduated, now at least I can get off the bike because now with these diplomas, if I can find something to do, someone can hire me. And that was not the case. On a good day, Bamou makes around $30. But with the Democratic Republic of Congo's rampant inflation, the depreciation of the Congolese franc, and multiple demands on his meager income, Bamu struggles to make ends meet. Like millions of Congolese who will head to the polls on December 20th, he has seen little improvement in living conditions despite Congo's vast wealth in critical minerals and President Felix Chisiketi's 2019 promise to create more jobs. In tout cas, je suis pas I'm not happy because the country is not helping us, young people, especially young people who have studied. I sacrificed myself to go to college to study, but you end up like that. There's no work. The dream you had, everything is gone, so it can't go on like this. DRC is among the fastest growing economies in sub-Saharan Africa, boosted by its mining sector. It's the world's top supplier of battery-grade cobalt and the third largest copper producer. But little has trickled down to the majority of its nearly 100 million people, where around 62% live on less than a dollar a day. Meanwhile, unemployment is at 80% and most people remain dependent on the informal economy, a Congolese economist told Reuters. Chisiketi has blamed some of Congo's economic woes on external factors, such as the COVID-19 pandemic, the war in Ukraine, repeated Ebola outbreaks and the persistent security crisis in the east of the country. His main opposition challenger, millionaire businessman Moise Katumbi, has said he'll improve Congo's business environment to attract investors. Bamu said he voted in 2018, hoping for a change. Si ça dépendait d'autres choses, si je voulais suivre vraiment selon ce que moi j'ai traversé, if it depended on other things, if I wanted to really respond to what they've put me through, I would not vote. But I'm going to do it to give one more chance. Hope that the president who will come can at least make things better, change things.